Well, I've always been interested in the sea. I mean, I've, I've, I was a merchant seaman many years ago and I, I, I took up uh, sailing. Um, but purely by chance, I was working with a guy that went diving and I got invited and uh, I had the first dive and I was hooked. Brian likes diving, that's his hobby and he thoroughly enjoys it. On the occasion I had the bend, um, it was a fairly straightforward dive. It was a deep dive and we were conscious that the, the time we had was limited because we were incurring a decompression penalty the longer we stayed down. Obviously I was aware that because of the equipment failure and my computer had gone into alarm mode that I was outside of the diving profile. Having got back into the boat, um, I took the recovery position which all divers would do and it was at that point that I realised I was starting to get symptoms. Hi Liam, Hi Brian. nice you to okay? see you again. You alright mate? The most common for the decompression illness um, is, is pain in the joints or rashes or itchiness. Uh, the most serious that we get is paralysis. Okay Brian, if you follow me inside I'll show you around, okay? Just mind your head on the way in. Yeah, okay. And again on this one. Yeah, I got it. So what can you remember? Well, I, I can remember obviously lying on the bed and I had to uh, sit up a certain way and I can remember um, going on to oxygen periodically throughout the treatment. And I remember the atmosphere being very, very, uh, very hot and I have to say it was very uncomfortable. Brian was suffering with uh, spinal decompression illness, so he, he had partial paralysis to the nerves that were supplying his legs and his arms. So he did have altered sensation which was uh, a result of the, the, the injury to the nerves themselves. Because of the incidents, I've had to cope with being able to get myself back into a frame of mind where I can go diving again or packing all together. But I want to actually experience a dive again in knowledge I've got full control over my own equipment and uh, with the knowledge that I've put the incident behind me. I think once I'm in the water, I'm making a descent back down to the wreck, I'll probably be in, uh, feel, feel a lot better about it because I'll be in more control. What do you think the visibility is going to be like today? It is sort of going through my mind now, but as I say, I'm, I'm, I'm confident that uh, the dive is going to be successful, so I'm, I'm, I'm relaxed enough about it, but I'm with a slight tinge of apprehension. to be honest with you. As I say, it was, uh, it was a disturbing incident when it happened. Um, I've gone through it. I've uh, obviously recapped with my training with my, my, my diving officer and the, the dive was uh, flawless and I do feel a lot better now and I, I'm, I'm, re I'm now ready for the dive season to carry on as normal.